Hey, how's it going folks? This is Mario from the Giant Tortoise Farm here. Today I'm making a video for a customer that's interested in knowing the difference between Cyclora species. We're going to focus mainly on Cuban rock iguanas, Lewisai rock iguanas, and Orino rock iguanas. Here in my hand I have a, I have a Cuban rock iguana. So this is a Cuban and the, neat, the thing about the Cuban is they carry those dark chevrons. So they're a much more darker coloration when it comes to these cyclora and their dewlap. If you take a close look at his dewlap there, it's nice and orange. And another neat thing is about these Cubans are they're the most tamest, naturally tame without putting that much work or effort into them. They're this puppy dog tame. You can see this is a male, a young male here that I just took out of this enclosure. First time I'm actually holding on to it for this long. You can just see he's not skittish at all. This very observant really neat animal cubans are really the tamest of all cyclora species and they carry that nice dark colorations those dark chevrons which are those black lines going through its body and it is much more of a darker animal i'm gonna go ahead and get a lewisai and also a rhino so you guys can see the difference but take a look at this i'm gonna put this cuban down right here on this two by six this to show you guys take a look at that just how tame they are Like I said, it is my first time taking this one out, and this is a hatchling, so it's still learning about life. But you can just see how tame it is. I can move my hand here and just. So this is a Cuban rock iguana. You can see those dark chevrons going through its body, even down the tail. And the difference with Lewis size is they're much more lighter. Those chevrons seem to be more faded, and they have more of a blue coloration to them also as well as their head but i absolutely love cubans just for the fact how tame they can be but each animal has potential to be very tame these cubans just have it in them more well there you have it folks hope you enjoyed that video also, these are between 11 to 12 inches. We have a lot of hatchings. If you guys are interested, feel free to let us know. Hope you enjoyed that video, folks. Take care. Also, one more thing I do want to point out is their snout. You can see their snout. Cubans have more of a round roundabout there. It kind of has a curve to it where it kind of curves down the tip of its nose. Where those nostrils are. Kind of has a little roundabout to it kind of curves down where your Lewis size are more narrow and straight. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I could point that difference out to you as well. But this is such a amazing iguana, check this out. I love them because they have that tannish coloration to them, which I always mention, is this really neat. Hope you enjoy that video, folks. Cuban Rock Iguana 2024. Take care. This is part two to the video I was making to demonstrate for a customer that was interested in knowing the difference between a Lewisai iguana, a Cuban iguana, and a rhino iguana. So here in my hand, I have a Lewisai iguana. So you can see right here, if the camera does it any justice, you can see those chevrons are much more faded compared to your Cuban. They're much more lighter. They carry more blue. And especially its head. Let's see if I can get some sunlight here. There we go. You can see that nice blue head coloration that it does carry. Cubans don't carry that blue. So when it comes to these Lewisai iguanas, they're just much more rare to come by. It was a point where these guys were endangered. There was only a handful of them left in the wild. But us breeders done such a great job of breeding them to increase their population. These guys do have a lot of potential to be tame. They're very intelligent. They're just not as tame. When I say not as tame, they're not as naturally tame as a Cuban rock iguana would be. Whereas these guys, you actually do have to put in the work. You have to spend time. You have to definitely be patient and you could create that bond. Like I said, they're very intelligent. You can see this little ones is being very observant. And this is a young male. You can see that white dot on the right leg. I did probe it. Ended up being a male. 
beautiful animal. I'm gonna put it down here in a two by six. Might be a little skittish, but we're gonna work with it. You can see how much lighter that is compared to your Cuban. It's a lighter coloration. Those chevrons are more faded, has a nice blue head. This to show you, and this is a baby. I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up so he doesn't get too far away from me here, folks. <laughs> well, there you have it. 2024 Lewisite Iguana. Coming from the Cayman Islands. Take a look at that blue. How neat. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that video, folks. Take care. Here today I'm with our Rhino Iguana. This is part three to our video where I'm demonstrating the difference between our Cuban Rock Iguana, Lewisai Iguana, and Rhino Iguana. Take a look at this 2024 hatchling. So curious about this camera. He actually wants to be very involved in the camera. Really neat. So here we go. A little, oh, this made some stool, some pee on my hand. I absolutely love it. This is all part of the job. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get dirty. It's okay. Well, here we go. These are rhino iguanas. They come from Dominican Republic and Haiti. They're one of the most massive cyclorous species. They get the most, you know, the broadest, the, the biggest, like a bulldog. They get very wide. They get very massive. They're really neat and they carry horns on their head. When they're little, you can't really see them, but as they mature, they start to get these horns on their head, which they get the name rhino. <laughs> Check this little one out. They're really neat. Out of all cyclorous species, they tend to be the most wildest, but I wouldn't say that because if you, you see, this one's not as crazy. It's very, it's very observant, definitely aware of its surroundings, not used to being handled, but I, I know plenty of rhinos and I've seen a million, I've seen thousands of rhinos where they're puppy dog tame. They all have potential to be tame. They're very intelligent. There was even a point in time where they used these little rhinos in films in the 1980s because of their they're, they're so prehistoric out of all cyclorous species these rhinos seem to be the most prehistoric looking lizard <laughs> they're really neat really prehistoric if you're looking for a mini dinosaur you cannot go wrong with a rhino I know people who use these guys as service animals. I even seen videos where these guys could be po uh, potty trained. If you go on YouTube, type in rhino iguana being potty trained. It's really neat. This is to show you how smart these guys are. I'm gonna put this one down on the two by six. We're gonna hang out with it for a few. This is to show you guys. I don't wanna lose him here. Right, it's my first, I got stool on my hand. It's okay, folks. It's my first time working with this little one. I'm just gonna pick him up. Don't want him to get away. But just to show you, I have full control of this animal. It's not that wild. The more I spend time with it, the more familiar it gets with me, the deeper our bond can get. So that's your rhino iguana. These guys can live up to 60 years. Hope you enjoyed that video. Take care.